Well, hello and a very warm welcome to episode 11 of Golden Moments. Um, we've got a real treat for you today. Um, in a moment I'm going to hand over to Mr Maxwell who's going to talk you through a competition that he's recently run for all year groups in the school to produce a poem on the theme of conflict. Now the students, as you will hear in a moment, have explored not just traditional forms of conflict, as you might understand in terms of war and battles, but they've actually looked at conflicts within individuals um, and between individuals, and generally how tensions arise both within society and um, on a wider level. So I'm now going to hand over to Mr Maxwell, who's going to tell you about what the students have done, and then of course the students themselves will be able to read some of their poems to you. Good morning, and welcome to Golden Hillock uh, School. Uh, my name is Mr. Maxwell, and I'm an English teacher at Golden Hillock, and I'm pleased to be here today because I would like to introduce uh, my students who participated in the War of Words Poetry Competition, which is a nationwide poetry competition, and these are the students who've stu whose poems have stood out very uh, well in this competition. Uh, today, I'd like to share a variety of poems written by these students. We have racism, students talking about racism. We have students talking about war. We have students talking about love. And we have students talking about drugs. And so, when, without further ado, I'd like to inter introduce our students. Thank you. Hello, I'm Decca and I'm reading a poem called Poppies. Poppies are red, poppies are round. Poppies turn my smile upside down. They're bloodshot red, I have dreams in my bed of those who fought and brought peace to our world. They brought peace among us, people made a fuss, gave up their lives, Mo most of them died, some lost legs, some lost arms, but they are still remembered by those who cared. My name is Timbeka Zwane, and I'm going to be reading a poem that I composed entitled A Mastermind's Demise. I obtain fear and apprehension, given the greatest attention, a special claim to fame under what was the domain of a state's profession, Consistently gaining momentum, acquiring lessons, endeavouring to conquer my conscious related Armageddon. I was used in accession, this I am stressing. I was the creation of manly imperfection. I was manipulated, this I've truthfully stated. Because of me, many leaders were assassinated. With calculated precision, at the heart's fear was driven, albeit her mission murder simultaneously was my addiction. Hello, my name is Junaid, and my poem is about humanity. Fear pumping through my blood vessels. Listen, bullets hissing and penetrating through the air. Fear, fear and depression that is endured by my fellow brothers. A massacre brought by mother nature. Easy done watching. All wars are diabolical. Men forced towards their ultimate grave, blinded. Time killing us inevitably. Mother's heart severed diagonally. Where's the humanity? Using the dead body to write the names in calligraphy. Clear crystal teardrops twisted with revulsion. Red clear crystal teardrops. Is anyone watching? Walking towards the darkness. God is not watching. But the devil watches. Clinging onto every individual soul. Filling every grief. Vanishing every good intention inside of us. The devil's feast. The poem you've just heard by Junaid Udin was written in an English class where we're studying World War I poetry. That, was, that poem was influenced by Wilfred Owen's uh, poem, Exposure. If you notice, Junaid talked about nature and how nature was actually an advers adversary to a lot of the men who were fighting during World War I in the trenches. Hi, I'm Solomon Hussein, and my poem is called Psychedelic. Every time you walk down the hallway, I look at you, knowing there's nothing that I can do. We're just friends, and that's how it has to be. But I can't get the feeling our destiny says we were meant to be. When you look at me, you see me as a friend. When I look at you, I think how madly I'm head over heels for you. I tell myself every day that being friends is okay. I can't ruin the friendship that we have. If anything happens between us, I think I'll go mad. Hi, my name is Ray Bibi and I have written a poem about racism. Love is not a colour, neither a race. All of our blood is the same that runs deep within our veins. 
When we are born, we are all the same, black or white, we have our rights. My name is Marami Hussein Southlands and my poem is about racism. Racism, 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 you give a human sorrow and hate. Racism, 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 look at what you've done and look at this state. Racism, 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 you are evil and uh, as sharp as a knife. Racism, 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 you play with human's life. My name is Aisha Yassin and this story is about drugs. This poem is, I wrote it because um, some people have drugs and they don't know what they've done. Do the best you can do, be the best you can be. Don't have drugs, they're not healthy. Don't have drugs, you lose your life. Don't have drugs, it's like hitting yourself with a knife. That is something you wouldn't do. Don't have drugs, they're not good for you. Hello, I'm Jacka Abdullah, and I'm reading this poem about puppies. The puppies best grit in the battlefield of World War One. Puppies are red, puppies are round. Puppies turn my smile upside down. They are bloodshot red. I have dreams in my bed of those who fought and then brought the world to peace. They brought, they brought peace among us. People made a fuss, gave up their lives. Most of them died. Some, le some lost legs, some le lost arms, but they are still remembered for those who, from those who care. Okay, so absolutely inspirational uh, work there from those students. Really good use of rhyme, rhythm and other poetic devices. Um, and hopefully you've really got a flavour of not just what creativity exists here at Golden Hill at school, but students' powers of language and their ability to convey strong emotions and ideas. Look forward to hearing from uh, other students next week when we have episode 12 of Golden Moments.